Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Reading from verse from Romans chapter 12, verse 9 through 13. Hmm. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil. Cleave to that which is good. Be kindly affectionate one to another with brotherly love and honor, preferring one another. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer, distributing to the necessity of saints, given to hospitality. Hmm. How much of that are we living up to? Hmm? Yeah. When was the last time you did something for someone else? Even though you had to cancel something you really wanted to do for yourself. When was the last time you took money that you were going to go out and eat with and go shopping with later on that afternoon for stuff you really didn't need, you just wanted because you like to shop? And decided to find out from the pastor if a certain family in the church how well or how poorly they're doing. And you go anonymously and bless them with what they need. With that, that money you were going to use for yourself. Preferring one another. Huh? You know, some of you won't even give up the, fr the front seat in the car. But you got an old person. And they can't maneuver well. You don't want to give up that front seat, do you? You're a passenger. Your spouse is driving the car. But that's your seat. Are you going to give up that seat for that old person? So you can give them a ride or they can ride with you wherever you're going? Hmm? Preferring one another. We fall short in so many ways, we don't even realize it. We don't get that sometimes when we're all sitting around and we're eating, fellowshipping, and we're, we're all supposed to put our stuff away, throw it away in the trash, and clear our part of the table off before we leave. How many of us even think to go over to the person who can't maneuver well, old or young, or blind, and say, here, let me get this. I'll toss it for you. Little things. Not big things, little things. Little considerations. Okay, here's another thing. <laughs> Kindly affectionate towards one another. You know how hard it is for us to be kind and affectionate? Some of us are not into hugging. I don't do the hug thing. But there are people in the body of Christ who really need that human attachment, that human connection. They need that affection. They were starved as children. But I don't do hugs, so you'll have to go to someone else. Okay, see you later. Thank you. Bye. No, give up your right to your own ways and reach around and hold a person who needs it. Maybe they're crying, maybe they're at the altar and there's nobody praying with them and they are bawling their eyes out and a hug would just really do the trick. And you're sitting there, you're not doing anything. Get up off your duff. Go to that person. Reach out. You know the old secular song, reach out and touch somebody's hand. Make this a better place if you can. I say it even if you even if you won't, do it anyway. 
present your body of living sacrifice and do what doesn't come natural sometimes for the sake of the one who needs it. 